Welcome back to the channel. Today, well, today we're going to be doing mite treatments. We're going to be using Apivar strips instead of the OA treatment like I used last year, um, primarily because there's been a monster chasing me around the backyard. If you've seen my Halloween video, you know what I'm talking about. Um, but seriously, uh, I've been watching other beekeepers, specifically Vino Farms. I watched him use the Apivar strips um, early on in his beekeeping, and then recently in a new video, and the mite count that he's been getting on the bottom board has been amazing. So I'm going to see if I can uh, achieve the same thing and give these a try this year. So let me get my gear on and uh, and we'll get started. <clears throat> Before I get in these hives, let me tell you what, what I'm gonna be doing. Um, if any of my hives have three boxes on them, I'm gonna be removing one of the mediums. I wanna go into winter with just one deep and one medium. Um, you're also going to notice on a lot of these hives, if not most of them, I've already removed the top control box. I'm going to remove this one and the one that's still in place on the white hive, the pink hive, and well, a couple of the hives out here, and take them into the shop and just put some tighter screen on the inside. So we're going to be going a couple of days without the uh, control boxes. It's not going to matter. It's not too hot. It's not too cold. I think it's just right. Um, so the bees will be fine and everything will be all right. Oh, that's uh, pretty heavy. How are we doing here, ladies? Let me just see how heavy this box is. Okay, that's a light box. This one's coming off. Oops. This box right here. Ladies, your entrance reducer. The ape of our strips, do they go here or in the upper box? I don't know. What I'll do is I will look at the package. Use two ape of our strips per brood chamber, one strip per five frames. Okay, well, let's uh. Have a look. Okay. Drop one right down here. Okay. One right down here. Somebody didn't make it. I'm sorry. Okay. We're going to drop Let's put these right, right here. Excuse me. You know what? I'm only going to use three because I don't have two 10 frame boxes. One right in the middle. There we go. Now, what I need to do is take these bees and shake these girls into that hive. Okay, nothing there. Okay, now this frame, this is a good resource frame. Let's see if we've got an empty. Yes, that's glued in there, good. Let's see if this frame has any resources on it. If not, I'm going to go ahead and pull it and give them the, the frame with the resources. Goodness. Okay, no resources, a few hot beetles. There's three of them. Put this frame in here. It has some resources. Then these girls are going to be ready for a bucket of sugar syrup when I'm done. All right, that was pretty disorganized, but I did manage to get three Apovar strips in here. Let's go on to the yellow hive and see if I can't do the same there. Okay, so this hive, I've already removed the control unit. Now I have put, I have put the bottom board inserts in here. Oh, ants, lots of ants. This is not good. This is definitely not good. Holy moly. 
Okay, so we've had a ton of rain here, which has forced the ants up into here, into the boxes, and this, this hive has no way to keep ants off of it. The bees apparently have kept the ants out of the hive, but this is, this is terrible. This is how, this is how beehives abscond. This is how they leave. Oh, the other side is just as bad. Oh, ants everywhere. Yeah, we had a ton, I mean a ton of rain. Now, something that should be, be noted. I've got, a, oh, look at this, terrible, terrible. They're bringing their eggs up. There's ants with eggs in their mouth. They're holding their, their eggs. They're moving into this hive. Okay. So on all of my other hives, I have the ability to keep the ants out. I've, I've printed on my 3D printer these ant blocks. And basically it's an oil moat. The ants can't get past it. And all my other hives have been fine this year. But this hive, I do not have the moat on. And apparently the ants have moved in. So let's... Uh, Let's see if they've gotten inside the hive. I do not believe they've gotten inside. I'm sure the propolis is going to be pretty tight because there weren't many ants on the top. The bees have done a good job at keeping them out. But holy moly. All right, let's see what we got here. There's a hive beetle. All right, so what I want to do is I want to take this box off, kind of judge it for weight, very light, very light. They're going to get some food. There's a hive beetle. This is a very small cluster. Very light hive. Okay, they need food in a bad way. They're going to get fed today too. I think. I think this hive is in bad shape. I'll put one where their cluster is down there. I'll put two strips here and here. I've got the one strip in the middle down on the bottom. I'm going to put one here and one here. This is a very small cluster. This hive is in danger of getting wiped out as well. Son of a gun. This has not been a good season for me. I've made some mistakes and I should have been feeding these bees more than I have. I thought for sure they were going to get more goldenrod than they did. Apparently they haven't. So let's see here. Leave this on here so that I can bring a bucket of sugar syrup out for these girls. They will be fed today. All right. Let's go to the green hive. This is not turning out to be a good uh, experience here. I thought it was going to be easier than it was, but these hives are, these two hives are so low on resources, I'm surprised they're even alive. I know that the blue hive is already, it's gone. They've, they've, they've been robbed out. Like I said, the, the, the army hive is being robbed out right now. It's just not uh, not good. All right, green hive. Let's hope that you're, you're faring better than the other ones. Hope you have more food. Oh, there's still ants on this hive. They're up underneath the tin. Oh, that's miserable. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna change that lid. They're gonna get Juno's old lid. I don't, I don't like all those ants. Excuse me, girls, just for a second here. There you go. There we go. Please have some weight. Okay, you have some weight, you have food. That is good, you have some stores our beetle trap. Let's see what this feels like. Okay, that's pretty light. They can probably use some more food. But the good news is, is the cluster's in the bottom already, so let's give these girls the ape of our strips. Okay, there's that one. This one right here. this back on here and again that's a full box of food that makes me happy and we will put one here you know what this is a pretty busy hive I'm gonna put one on this side I'm gonna give them the old the four strip treatment here one right here 
Okay. And your lid. All right, that one was easier than I thought it was going to be. Okay, one pack of vapor pot. All right, one pack of vapor var down. One, well, two more to go. I have enough. Okay, this control box is going to come off. Let's have a look. This is coming off. Okay, that's going in for some modifications. Now, this hive is going to, it's going to lose a chamber. It's going to lose one. Whatever one is the lightest, whatever medium is the lightest is coming off. Okay, let's see what we got here. Okay, that's got some food in it. Let's check this one. Oh, this one's it's pretty light. Okay. We have whatever that is. I'm uh, taking away your cattywampus. Taking away the cattywampus. I know you like it, and it's got some little bit of stores on there, but it's got to go. It's got to go. So this is empty, 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 empty. The bees are living on these four frames here. But based on the population, this hive is only going to get three. We drop one right there. If you drop one, well, I think we're going to drop some other ones in the brood box. Okay. We're going to make We're going to make the box that we're going to keep up here. Those are some heavy frames in there. Let's uh, let's remove this beetle trap carefully. I do not want to spill oil in the hive. Don't need any more of that. I caught so much hell from people when I spill oil in the hive. I do my best. Just got uh, carried away. A lot to a lot to do here when you're making videos and to learn beekeeping and give everybody what they need or what you think they need at the time. These out for now. Out spilling any oil. Okay, quite a few beetles in there. That's good. That's good. I will take that. Okay. Now any empty frames that are in here are going to be removed. All right. We have, oh, 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 hive beetles. Okay, that one has been beehive beetled. Let's see what we have here. Okay, this one has no hive beetles. A little bit of wet nectar. Oh, oh it has, whoa, oh, 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 two hive beetles. Two dead hive beetles. <laughs> oh, it's got a few on there. Let me go get them out. Okay, the Board of Doom still serves its purpose. That is a light frame. I'm going to remove that one. I'm going to give them this one back. Okay, they have some food on there. I'm going to give them that back. Okay, this frame is very light. Nothing happening on it. That one's coming out. Okay, they have some honey in there. Here's another one with honey in it. Watch out, bee. I don't want to smash you. Okay, this is a good frame. Oops. Excuse me. Oh, somebody bit it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Didn't mean for you to get the, the old wackaroo. <laughs> All right. You're good to go. Sorry that was very disruptive, but I didn't do what I had to do there. Let's go on to just look at the blue hive. I don't think there's anything in the blue hive to look at. 
So this one's going to be depressing because I don't think there's any bees left in here. I'll take a look. Oh, hey! Hey, I have bees! Smoke! 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 Here we go, unless they're just bees and robbing this out. Maybe there are some bees in here. Oh, okay, we have a colony. I thought for sure. I thought for sure we lost this one. Okay. It's the monus. I mean, they're all light. They don't have much food, so I'm going to feed them today. I mean, there's not a whole heck of a lot going on down here, I'll tell you that. But we're going to force all the bees down into here. So this is going to go right here. We're going to do just two apovar strips in this one. A very small colony. We'll put them both here in the top. One right there. One right here. So I'm going to shake these other bees into the side. All right, you will be fed, I promise, ladies. Well, the day is out. All right. Now that I've put entrance reducers in both of these hives, see I've kicked off a robbing situation today. I kind of thought that might happen, and it did. And I've got to get this done, so what are you going to do? Oh, that's heavy. That's the food box. They're going to keep that. We're going to get some uh, paper bar strips in there. So let me tell you, these things are very thick. It's almost like rubber. I, I assumed, I know what happens when we assume, but I assumed those would be a lot thinner than they are, but they're, uh, they're pretty thick. Okay. This. Watch out, we're coming in. Oh, got hive beetles on the back here. I know, I know, I know. Worst thing ever. I know, I know. Trust me. I don't like doing this anymore than you like me doing it. Okay. You will be fed later. There you go. There you go. Oh, there's a hive beetle. Bing, bing, bing. He's gone. Oh, a whole bunch of hive beetles. Goodness. This is the worst hive beetle season ever. Ever. I mean, ever. I'm hiding on the back of the hive, waiting to get back in. Okay. Here's this. Wait a second. We're going to go ahead and put this here. This here. Chase your uh, hive beetles in there, ladies. Oh, there's a hive beetle right on top. Oh my God, they're just everywhere. On this one, we're just going to remove the control box. 
give them two eighth of our strips and be done. We'll drop one of these right here. There's one. I'm going to have to come back with an inner cover for you. Because if I don't, it's going to be a nightmare to get back into this hive. Okay. And put some apovar in. Human coming in. Oh, I see some hive beetles running now. Son of a gun. Oh, man. I thought I was going to get in and out, but looks like I'm not. Son of a gun. thought this was going to be a quick and easy one. Oh, man. Hive beetles. Well, we're going to have to address those a different day because it is... Uh, it is robbing season, and I've had too many hives open for too long today. There you go. Actually, we're just going to put that right there. We're going to set this one right on top. We're going to put this one right down in the middle as well. There you go. Your food will be coming. All right. Army hive first. Okay, this girl's been getting robbed out. Oh, she's got gazillion hive beetles in the lip of the bucket again. Son of a gun. Holy moly. Here we go again. Let's give me some smoke first. Son of a gun. This is, this is just gross. Okay, this hive is crazy strong. And that is good because they are back here in the back. And they are not going to get uh, any heat. So I'll clean this up a little bit. All right. There we go. All right, let's get some Apovar in here. There's one there. Oh man. This one really needs four. But then I can't give any to Navy. Navy needs some too. Okay, one on bottom, two on top. That's it for now. Okay. Mm -hmm. One. And two. There we go. You will not be fed. You are full of nectar. You're good. Yeah, there's robbing going on on the fronts of these hives. These girls have been, they've been robbed for the last couple of days. Oh, beetles. Here's beetles. These girls are heavy. They've got food. Oh, food is good. Food is good. There is a apovar with the other two in your top box. Actually, let me just put this right in the middle. The other two will go in your top box. On the sides, coming in. Squash a beetle. Oh, another beetle. Okay. Let's see here. One and two. Yeah, no, two. Right there. Right there and right there. Okie dokie. Beetle. Get off. Get off. There we go. Excellent. All right. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to choke off their entrance a little bit. All right, ladies. All right. There we go. 
Let you keep the bees away. So the problem with these Guardians is they don't come with entrance reducers. So I printed some on my 3D printer that fit perfectly in there. They choke them off, made them the same color as the Guardian. It helps during robbing season. All right, well, there you go. The end of another adventure. We did manage to accomplish our goals, and that was to get eight of our strips and all the hives. We did do that. Um, we also got the hives broken down so that each beehive only has one deep and one medium. I left the, the comb with the most food in the hives. Uh, the rest of it is down on the bench being robbed out. Um, and unfortunately, when I had these hives open, I did start a robbing situation up here. So it's, it's kind of a melee happening up here. I'm hoping that it calms down as the, as the evening progresses. Um, but with all that said, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, do me a favor, give me a thumbs up. If you have something to say, by all means, please comment. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, do me a favor, take a moment, subscribe to the channel, uh, ring the bell to be notified of my new content. I try to drop a video every Friday around three o'clock. I try to keep it light and have fun here. So with all that said, I want you to be happy and I will see you next time. Take care.